Okay, um, all praises and glory go to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elders in GMS and salutations to all Yakim out there that's pushing this truth. And um, this lesson we're going to be um, basically, you know, dealing with pride, man. You know? Because uh, got the situation with Shakia. But then it's just not Shakia. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's brothers that's, 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 within, that's within GMS it, itself, man. You know? You can be secretly being proudful or or having pride and you you don't know you 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 have pride until somebody expose it and and bring it out man you know until the spirit expose it you know so it's it's real important that, that you really examine yourself man you know a perfect example is a uh, our ex camp leader you know the buyer you know he he he, he act like he was so humble but when he was put in the situation you know then that then that pride oozed out man so you don't see sometimes you don't know till you have, have pride until you're put in a situation man you know and 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 you won't humble yourself down and the perfect example is like i mentioned my camp leader but also what uh uh, uh shock you you know that guy is 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 full of pride but Let's open up with this first. Proverbs uh, 8 and 13. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil. It says pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth I do hate. All right. So the Lord hates that, man. All right. You, you can't be for it. All right. With your mouth. All right. Which is that's what Shakya is doing. You can't be arrogant, man. You can't and you can't be prideful, all right? The Lord hates that, man. All right, He will destroy you, all right. When you read the the apocrypha, it says, "Man, pride was not made for man." Okay, and the Lord is not with it, man. And these are not the only situations, but, but you know, but it's been various situations, man. Hey, it's brothers within these camps that's 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 hella prideful, man. That know that that don't know how to humble down, you know. Or or, or 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 they always think that 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 they're always right. That's pride. That's pride. And the Lord is not with that, man. All right, the Lord said, "Come, come, come. Well, I'm gonna get it, man." Scriptures always say it better. This is Matthew. We're gonna get this, and we're gonna get the other one. All right, Joe. Matthew 8 and 4 it says, Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So see, you gotta humble yourself as what? A, a little child, man. Alright? Children know or little babies know when to what? Humble themselves, man. When you holler, when you when, when you when you when you scream at them, what they do? They humble down. Alright? cry okay and and when you go 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 and go on go on to the uh book of john it says what uh uh we, we must be what born again which means what basically what you gotta humble down as a child and learn everything all over again you got to humble yourself all right it says verse five and whoso shall receive one such such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, all right, it were better for him that a millstone, this mighty, a millstone, a <laughs> great millstone, were hanged about his neck and were drowned in the depth of the sea, man. So when you don't know how to, how to humble yourself, man, hey, man, you'd be better off, man, if you just kill yourself, man, all right, and especially... If you offend one of his little ones, man. And the men of great great millstone are his little ones, man. But like I was saying, you have men in great millstone that's proudful, man. That know how that don't know how to humble down. Okay. Uh Matthew 23 and 12. Okay. They start from a 11. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. See? And that's also being being humble, all right? Because even us as as leaders, all right, 
we have to humble ourselves and be servants to the younger brothers, man. All right. It says, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. All right. So if, if you if you exalt yourself, man, guess what? The Lord's going to bring you low, man. And he that humble that humble himself shall be exalted. See him that humble himself. He going to be be exalted, man. All right. So if you coming in that in that humble spirit, guess what? The Lord, he, he, he's, he's going to do what? Exalt you. All right. Lift you up. OK. And the egg, hey, the perfect example is our is our Lord and Savior, man. He humbled himself. He ate. Hey, he ate hey, him being the son of the heavenly father. He had to humble himself, man. OK, let's go to Philippians two and eight real quick. <laughs> man you know what man I'm gonna start from the top of this uh, Philippians 1 and 1 if there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach if any comfort of love if any fellowship of the spirit if any in bowels and mercies fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded having the same love being on one accord of one man, you hear that shock you being on one accord in one man, all right, or any other brother. Hey, that's in great millstone that's trying to drift off into other doctrines, man. We supposed to be one man, says, Let nothing be, no, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, which what that's pride, all right, strife and vainglory is pride, man. But listen to this, says, But in lowliness of the mind, let each esteem other better than themselves so you ain't supposed to be lifting up yourselves you supposed to be what lifting up other brothers man said let every man on his on his own things but every man also on the things of others all right says let this mind be in you which also in hamashiach yahweh shai who being in the form of yahweh thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, all right, it says, but made himself of no reputation, all right, which means what well, he wasn't trying to make a name for himself, man, all right, he just came and did the work, all right, and uh, 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 uh and um, 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 fulfilled the Lord's will, man. He made what no reputation and took upon himself the form of a servant, which means what he humbled himself and was made in likeness of a man. All right, because why he came in the flesh and being found fashioned as a man, being humble, being fashioned as a man, being humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even unto the death of the cross, man. So we have such a great example, man, that you got Jake li li lifting up themselves because they, they know a couple scriptures, man. The scripture says what? Knowledge. Knowledge what puffeth up, man. And I'm going to get that too, man. This is verse 9. It says, Wherefore, Yahweh also have highly exalted him. Because why? He humbled himself, man. So the Lord exalted him and giveth him a name which is above every name. That that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow in the things in heaven and the things in earth and the things under the earth. And, and that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord and the glory of Yahweh and, and the glory of Yahweh the Father. You see? So the Lord, hey, he, he humbled himself, brought himself low, and guess what? The Lord exalted him, man. He lifted him up. All right? This is not about being uh 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 being being exalted right now, man. Right now, man, hey, man, we just let's read let's read the book of the uh the uh, book the uh, book the book of Corinthians, you know, and see what Paul said, man. All right, we 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 are despised, man. All right, but let's get that in Corinthians, man. Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians, eight and one, Salakia. Corinthians eight and the hell. Listen to this. First Corinthians eighty one. That is touching things. 
It says, touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. And knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifies. See? Look at that word puff, puffeth up. Be puffed up. See, let's go to number two. To inflate, blow up, to cause, to swell up, to puff up, to make proud. To be puffed up, to bear oneself lofty and be proud, man. And that's what you're seeing among Jake, man. Jake be acting like they humble, man. But in really, Jake be some goddamn demons, man. Proud as hell. All right? Like, hey, hey, like the Lord didn't, 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 hey, like the Lord didn't, um, 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 give you this, man. You ain't come up with this by yourself. The Lord gave you this, man. Matter of fact, it tell you in the book of Ephesians, all right? Ephesians 2 and 8, all right? It says, for... For by grace are ye saved, and though, and and through faith. So like it by by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of Yahweh. See, so the Lord gave it to you, man. Hit that word gift. A gift, a present. Gifts offered, an expression of honor, which means what is is given to you, man. Like it says in um book of, in the book of Matthew, to them, I mean to. To you, it is given, but to them not. All right. So, so it's it's a gift, and it's talking about this knowledge. All right. Let's go to. Uh, let me see. Let's go over to the. I think it's four and seven. All right. Like I was saying, it's talking about this knowledge. All right. It's Ephesians four and seven. But but until every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of gift, to the measure of his gift gift. Of Hamashiach, you see? So this is telling you this knowledge we have, man, is totally a gift, man. We didn't get it on our own, man. Alright, but when you start getting 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 prideful, man, hey, Lord, Lord will bring your ass down, man. If you ain't coming in the in 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 the in in the, in the right spirit, man. Hey, and like I was saying, hey, like a apostle made 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 that video, man. Pride is a motherfucker, man. You know? It truly is, man. It can truly destroy you, man. Hey, shock your hey, the elders de dealt with you patiently, man. Matter of fact. They dealt with your ass patiently, man. So rock seven and eight. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient is spirit in spirit is better. So they they hey they weren't just cuss you they, they was uh they was cussing you out dealing with you in the scripture which basically was being patient being patient with you man all right dealing with you because they was trying to bring you trying to bring you in the fold man and and they actually they was hey they cuss you out and they humble themselves man when you watch that video man that that's that man the elders have hella integrity man. Watch that! Watch that video that they laugh show on the highways and byways when they was dealing with Shakya, man. Now back back to this. It says, "And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit." And you proud in spirit, man. You know. Let's go to Proverbs, man. Proverbs. I think it's 11 and 20. Proverbs 11 and 20. It says, They that are of a forward heart are an abomination to the Lord. Is that it? No. What's that it? Salakia. Might be 13 and 20. The 13th chapter. 20. Hmm. Oh no, it's two. Salakia. Proverbs 11 and 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. And that's what's happening to you, Shakya. But listen to this. It says, but the low, it says, but with the lowly is wisdom. So it's about being lowly. 
Or what? Being always cooked on that word lowly. See, to be humble, be modest, be lowly. Show humility. Modest. All right? The scriptures tell you, hey, the, the, the humble has, has the wisdom. Not someone that's proud in heart, man. All right? Now, this is uh, Proverbs 29 and 23. <laughs> A man's pride shall bring him low, and that's what's going to happen to you. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You see? You can't get around that, man. You can't get around that, dog. Let's go here, man. Go to uh, the apographer real quick. Mm, this is a uh, rock 15. Rock the 15th chapter. We gonna, you know what? We're going to start from the, from the top of this, man. All right. It says, uh, he that feareth the, he that feareth Yahweh will do good. And he that have knowledge of the law shall obtain her. It's talking about what? Wisdom. And as the mother shall she meet him and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. It says with the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him water of wisdom to drink. And he shall be stayed upon her and shall shall not be moved and shall rely upon her and shall not be confounded. She shall exalt him above his neighbors. All right, this is talking about wisdoms. And in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth and she shall find joy of a crown of his gladness and she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. But the foolish man shall attain her, Shalaki, and a foolish man shall not attain her. And sinners shall not see her. Listen to this. She is far from the pride. She is far from pride. See, wisdom is far from pride, man. And, and guess what? You, you, hey, the elders was, uh, go, they was going into the, uh, the five foolish virgins, man. You know? She is far from what? Pride. And, and man that are liars cannot remember her. All right? And obviously you you a liar. They they proved that, and you a hypocrite. And his brothers and um, great millstone that's hypocrites. You know, say it just like that, man. You hey man, which that's another lesson. I'm not gonna even get into that right now. So with that, I'm gonna give all glory and praises to Yahweh by Shyamal Shai, by Shamro Kakadash, Rock a Thumb. The honor to the elders of GMS and salutations. So y'all came out there that's pushing this truth. Shalom.